the clock. Seven more arrests related to methamphetamine in Berkeley County to tell you about. News 2's Raymond Owens joins us live from Aldine Avenue in Goose Creek, where investigators are working to determine whether a fire there was started as a result of a meth lab. Raymond, also looks like more arrests could be coming soon, right? Absolutely. The uh, sheriff's deputy has been very busy over the last, really the last week on, on a number of issues related to methamphetamine. And investigator sources are telling me uh, that they do believe that this fire that started here night before last uh, was started with a meth lab. But we cannot get that official confirmation from Berkeley County uh, Sheriff's Office as of this point. But they, they tell me definitely they believe that is what happened here uh, the other night. Now, there's also brand new information. Two more meth lab busts since the beginning of the year. Back on January 4th, the Berkeley County Drug Enforcement Unit arrested six people at this home on Winter Court off Highway 17A for manufacturing meth. Joshua Quick, Sarah Aikman, Jamie McAllister, Jennifer Martin, Danny Ratliff, and Charles Harris were arrested by Berkeley County deputies. More arrests are expected in this case. The same day that this house on Aldine burned down due to a possible meth lab, Daniel Thornburg was arrested for possession with intent to distribute meth and marijuana. He was arrested by deputies at a house on Sandy Run Circle in Jedburgh. Thornburg had also had six other outstanding warrants that he was charged with. At this fire on Aldine on Wednesday, Justin Wright was taken into police custody on an outstanding warrant for manufacturing meth in an earlier incident. Neighbors say having a possible meth lab just down the street is unreal. I have my little nephew over here all the time. He's only one half of my nieces and all that. So I have that right down the street. It's crazy. Berkeley County found more than 30 meth labs in 2013. We wanted to get some more answers about why more and more meth labs are being discovered. Nowadays with this one pot method, um, you can do it in a very confined area. Um, you can even do it out of the trunk of a car. And so basically the very latest is out here. Once again, uh, officials, uh, sources are telling me that this was started by a meth lab. Uh, we're waiting to get that confirmation officially from the sheriff's department. We'll bring that to you as soon as we get that. But they are expecting to, to make an arrest in this case as well very soon. Also, more arrests coming in that winter court uh, a meth lab case. Reporting live from Goose Creek, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2. Okay, thanks, Raymond. And if you have any information about a meth lab anywhere, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 554 1111.